this video, we're going to make a low poly sky for our low poly landscape environment. Make sure to check out the previous videos in this series to make your landscape. Now, first of all, we're going to press Shift A, Mesh, and Ecosphere. And I'm just going to bring this radius way up, maybe something like one kilometer. And as you can see, it's getting clipped because our view distance isn't quite big enough. So I'll go and make this two kilometers at the end by in the end menu. And this will be our basic sky shape. Now, I might want to have a little bit higher res. So maybe go to two or even three. I think I might go with three for this. And now I can go and hit new material, call this sky. And this will just be a blue. So I'll try to get something that looks kind of like sky blue. That looks about right. It looks kind of close to what it is just looking out my window. You just a tad more saturation. Next, I'll simply make some clouds. So I might hit mesh icosphere again. Uh, this time I'll maybe make it like five meters. I might go down to maybe one on the subdivisions. And I'll tab into edit mode, shift D, and just start duplicating these things a few times. And I'll try and make it look kind of like a cloud. Maybe duplicate this over here, scale it up a little. And then I can move this up. And you can kind of see how it sort of looks like a cloud. Maybe rotating these a little bit so that they look a little less consistently in the same direction. I might go and add another one about there. And as you can see, the rocks from our duplicator in the previous video are in the middle, so I might want to just hit H and hide these. Next, I might go ahead and make a similar cloud. I might just go and hit Shift D and duplicate this, and maybe move things around a little bit to change it up. And it makes it kind of similar, but a little bit different. Maybe I'll make even another one. Tab, link selection, and just move these all around. Maybe I'll even move this off to the side. Maybe scale and Z have like a little smaller cloud next to this cloud shape. And now we got a couple of different cloud shapes. So now what we can do is we can simply start moving these clouds up, maybe scaling them up a bit, and I can just move them around. You can try rotating them around, making it so that they're pointing in opposite rotations so that they look different based off the angles, and maybe scale it up, and I can just add a few more of these. And maybe I'll grab one of these. And now we have a bunch of clouds. Next up, I can just make an another icosphere. Uh, maybe go to two. I'll call this one sun. And I can go to the material tab, add a new material, call it sun. Change the surface from principled to emissive. So we've got emission here. And we might go a little bit yellowish 
and then make the strength go up higher. They make it more more yellow. Something like that. I can scale it. I can just move the sun back in our world. And then later when we do the lighting, we can make sure that it looks like it's in the same area. So I might go with a kind of low looking sun to make it it's getting, getting close to nightfall or something. Maybe maybe have it over there. Since I think I want my view to be from around here. So I might go with something like that for the sun location. And I might move this cloud over here a little bit more. And now we got our sky. This was Mr. TriPi and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe. Watch my other videos and help my channel grow. Thank you.